five, five. That's going to be the number to remember. All right. We're going to hit you with five bets in five minutes. We're also going to turn $5 into 200 at DraftKings. So look, all you need to do before we begin, really two things, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. That's all. All right. We're going to start the clock, tell you all about what's going on at the Discord, tell you all about what's going on at DraftKings. we got a lot of things to tell you about, but right away, we have to start with the clock. Five bets in five minutes in the NFL. I can't wait. Let's begin because the clock's already rolling. And we start with Denver laying three. Denver laying three. How in the world can we come to this conclusion where we're actually laying points with the god-awful Denver Broncos? Well, look who they're playing. We have found a team worse. We have found a team that has worse coaching. We have found a team that has a worse quarterback. And we found a team that has a terrible offense around that quarterback. This is a bad spot, ladies and gentlemen, for the Las Vegas Raiders. And they are just led by a man in Josh McDaniels, 13 and 24 straight up as a head coach. He's just not good. They were the most heavily bet team this offseason to win the Super Bowl. Now, Denver's at home. They'll play to that. They have a great defense that's been playing well, and they also 0-2. But keep in mind, those 0-2 division games have been on the road, so we like Denver at home. Let's stay with the three theme here. And another favorite that we're going to go with here is the Washington Commanders. Now, it's three or less. That's it. We're not doing anything higher than that. We're not going to get cute here, but no more than three, by all means. This has been the theme. For us, riding Washington now to five straight covers. And we're going to ride them again to a sixth straight cover because of the changes on defense. You want to talk about Taylor Heineke and his Heine all you want? Go ahead. But the reality is the changes that were made against the Bears in that game with Ron Rivera, that was key on defense. And Rivera has motivated the hell out of this squad. Rivera has a hell of a record coming up after the bye as well. So there is a really good, strong case that Washington can avoid a serious letdown. And look, Houston is not fantastic. Houston's won one game, and they're not necessarily a letdown killer here either. Like, oh, we got another team coming to town facing a letdown. We're going to smash them. That's not usually how it works there. All right, let's keep it moving. And shout out to Ben Raza on the Odd Shop, 1 o'clock Eastern, each and every Friday. La Raza, Lofty, myself. We're going to just take the Steelers' money line. Easy, nice, and simple here. I would have no problem if you want to take the points by any means, but you look at where Cincinnati is right now. Kenny Pickett, 2-0 and at home, straight up against the spread as a starter. He's got two TDs and six turnovers, yet the team is still one. They get TJ Watt back, Minka Fitzpatrick back. This defense is a completely different scenario. Zach Taylor, 24, 37, and one. That's his record. That's his record. Now, is he and his quarterback, Joe Burrow, going to knock off Kenny Pickett in a shootout? Probably not. Total sitting at 40. You probably like the under there. Take a little shot with me with the Pittsburgh Steelers on the money line. All right, next play here. Now, I went back and forth on this a lot, really, at the start of the week. And it took me about, I don't know, eight hours or so till I cashed that ticket out on the Vikings at plus 115 and jumped on the Cowboys minus one and a half. Dak Prescott is no joke on the road, two, three straight games. In two or three consecutive road games, 16 and five straight up, 16, four and one against the spread. Most importantly, with a TD to pick ratio, 33 to 15. By the way, somebody told me you can throw on Minnesota's defense. I love that. Vikings coming off what could clearly be described as a letdown scenario. Cowboys, I thought, would continue to let down. But you know what? Minnesota, I think, has the edge in which team lets down harder following the previous week. Again, you go back to Dak Prescott. He is clearly the difference maker in this game, especially when it comes to the key component of quarterbacks. So our final play in the final minute. Way too many favorites here. Way too many favorites. But this line has moved, and I think it's moved in our favor. And I think the Chiefs at minus five and a half are okay. Andy Reid has a knack for winning division road games. He just does. And while you can add another wide receiver to the list of guys who won't be out there this weekend for the Kansas City Chiefs, the Chargers are not 
fully healthy. I don't care what name is on the back of the jersey of a body that's out there. They're not fully playing at full strength at the very least. So there is no mitigating factor. And Mike Williams playing with Keenan Allen doesn't move the spread three points for me, and it sure as hell should not for you. The bottom line is Andy Reid has an impressive record on the road, 19-7 and seven against the spread versus this division. And it hasn't always been smashing this division. There are just too many injuries on the Chargers, minus five and a half under six. I'm good with that. There you go. Five bets in five minutes. Very simple process here, right? We start the clock. We keep it going. I, I try and keep up with what's going on behind me, what's going on here on the screen. And you fade, you play, you tail, you laugh, and hopefully you have a good time. All sides this week. You notice that? With one little money line that we sprinkled in here. All sides except for one. By the way, that phone that you just heard buzzing was Greg Ehrenberg alerting his channel that he found something here. And that's just part of the Discord. So I, I think when you look at it from the standpoint of overall what we're doing on the Discord, I'll tell you all about that. But you know, we're getting buzzing here. We're getting buzzing. And that's the big part of it all. Alerts, alerts. All right, let's get you some money first. I'll tell you about the Discord in a second. Then we'll run through the five and five. Fresno State on the money line. This is college football, football. All right, football. Minus 2,400 on the money line. They ain't losing to Nevada. So all I need from you as a new, brand new user who has yet to sign up by all means, all I need from you is this. Sign up below. It's going to take all of what? 90 seconds. Put your information in. You're good. Deposit five and only five. Remember, I told you five at the beginning of the video. Five. Only five dollars. That's all you need. And then immediately, don't wait, don't do anything. I have done this work for you. I found this game for you. Fresno State money line, college football tonight, Saturday, 11 19 at 10 30 o'clock. All right. 10 30 on the East Coast, by the way. That's it. $5 turns into $200. Look, that's a 20 cent profit normally. In this case, when you sign up at DraftKings, it turns into $200. So it's a pretty cool thing. I mentioned the phone buzzing. Ehrenberg let me know about an NBA prop here that I should take advantage of. Here's how you jump in. My code is ES Insider. That's great, but really your first week is free. That's the big thing here is your first week is free. So you can jump in. You can bounce around. I just put up three Ivy League football plays. Yeah, we do Ivies. We do some other stuff here too. Get into the Ivies. You know, we, we cash some other ones, but I just want to throw the Ivy one up there. Uh, let's get back to the disc. Can we get back to the Discord page? Thanks. ES Insider is the code. And again, your first week is free. So you can do whatever you want with that first week. You can say whatever you want. You can bounce in, do whatever the hell you want. All right. Now I mentioned I cashed that Vikings ticket out, right? But on 11-13, we did not cash that Titans ticket out. So two games jumped on week 11. You got that on the Discord, 11-13. It's now six days from now. Four days from the game. Live before that, the very Sunday, that was probably the same day in which we placed this, right? Day after, at least. Live action happening here on the Discord. NFL, college football, that's where the money is coming in. Every, You know, we're having some fun with some other stuff, too. Told you about Ivy Leagues up there. We're having fun with some wild, random player props, kicker props, what have you. So don't worry, that's coming, too. But your first week is free. All right, here's your five and five. Broncos minus three. Commanders minus three. Steelers money line. Cowboys minus one and a half. Chiefs now and only now, not anything higher than that, minus five and a half. All right? There you have it. Look, we do the five and five for the NFL Monday night, Thursday night, and Sunday. For Saturday, really, Sunday. So we did a really good job on Thursday night crushed that Titans game. We had the Titans a couple of times over and we continue to roll and hopefully you can have some fun while we do this. That's really the big thing about it. If you're not having fun on these videos, I want to know because that's, that's me. Like I can change picks and I can change what you're doing here. Having fun or not. I don't want this to be a chore. Oh fuck. I got to go check this asshole out again. Let me just see what he has. And I don't, I'll put it on mute. I don't want that. I want you to have fun. Otherwise, what's the point?